This is not the end of the world. That already happened. This is what is left. Us, Gravehold, and the Nameless. For generations, we have taken refuge in an ancient and haunted place. It has taken our mages an aeon to hone their craft, but they are ready, and they are lethal. The breaches, the very conduits through which the Nameless travel, have become our weapon. Hi, I'm Jeremy Handel, president of Handelabra Games. At Handelabra, we are all about the digital tabletop. We work with tabletop creators and designers to bring their fun, innovative, and interesting experiences to digital platforms like Steam, iOS, and Android. Our previous digital tabletop games include titles like Sentinels of the Multiverse, a team-based co-op comic book-themed card battle game, and One Deck Dungeon, a roguelike dungeon crawler played with cards and dice. When Handelabra approaches an adaptation, our goal is always to preserve the core of what makes a game fun while leveraging the new medium to make the best game we possibly can. We could not be more thrilled to be working with Action Phase Games and Indie Boards and Cards to bring their critically acclaimed deck building game Aeon's End to Steam. In Aeon's End, you lead a team of up to four mages against a monstrous, nameless nemesis. Your team must harness the breaches to power your magic and protect the city of Gravehold, the last refuge of humanity. Like other deck building games, you begin each game with a basic deck and gradually add and upgrade cards available to you as you play. A player turn begins with casting spells you prepped in previous turns. Jian has sparks prepped to her two open breaches and you can drag to deal damage. Here, Jian is attacking the minion in play. The main phase is when you prep spells, focus on open breaches, gain cards or charges for your mage ability and more. Here, you are playing cards to gain Aether which can be used to gain cards from Supply or charge your Mage ability. Jian gains a Diamond Cluster, which is immediately discarded. Aeon's End brings several innovative mechanics to deck building, one of which is Discard Order. Players do not shuffle their discard pile in Aeon's End, so choose wisely the order you play and discard to set yourself up for subsequent turns. Another innovation of Aeon's End is Variable Turn Order. At the start of each round of play, the order of turns is randomized, echoing the chaos of battle. As you can see, we are already solidly into development, and you can even try a few turns yourself at the link below. But there's still plenty to do. We've secured more than half of the development budget to get the game shipped, but we need your help to finish it and get it out the door in early 2019. But that's not all. The other reason we're using Kickstarter for this project is so that we can bring new and existing content to the digital game. Aeon's End already has tons of replayability with its eight mages and four nemeses, but there's plenty more where that came from. Aeon's End has lots of existing promo and bonus cards that we hope to bring to the digital game, but we're also working directly with the designer Kevin Riley and our other partners to craft brand new exclusive content for the digital game. And finally, expansions. The world of Aeon's End includes expansions like The Depths, The Nameless, and more, as well as a full-sized expansion, War Eternal. Each expansion adds a slew of new mages, nemeses, and player cards, upping the replayability dramatically. Through stretch goals, we hope to secure enough funding to bring all that content to the digital game as quickly as possible. Read on for more information. Plus, check out our streaming schedule below. We'll be live streaming development throughout the campaign at twitch.tv slash Games. Thanks for checking out Aeon's End. Now join us. Gravehold needs your magic to survive.